Hi guys, welcome back to Practice Lab. In this video, I'm going to solve two problem statements which were asked in the interview. Okay, there were two technical rounds and in both technical rounds, the candidate was asked to solve the Java program. The candidate was having four years of experience and apart from Java, he was having knowledge of writing REST APIs, Spring Boot and microservices as well. When the candidate solved these two problem statements and answered most of the three questions, he was selected and he was offered a CTC of 14 LPA. Now what we will do, we'll solve the first problem statement and then we'll move to the next problem statement. Then uh, I'll share the list of three questions which were asked in that interview. And at the end of the video, I'm going to share a Java program. And you guys have to guess the output of that Java program and let me know in the comment section. Okay, so let's see the first problem statement. He was asked to find the first repeated character from the given string. So let us consider this is going to be my input string and I need to find the first repeated character from this string. So you can see W has been offered only once. So this is not repeated. E has been offered more than once here as well as here. So what I need to do, I need to print this E as the first repeated character from this string. So my output should print first repeated character is and the first repeated character. Okay, so let's see how to solve this. So here you can see I have written a class find first repeated character and inside that I have written a main method which is going to be starting point for proper program execution. So let me declare a string str equal to and I'll copy the string from the problem statement. So I'll copy this and I'll paste it here. Okay, now I got this string. Next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to map or I'm going to store each character along with its count in a map and then we'll see which character has been repeated okay and we'll print that character so i'll declare a variable of type map from java.util and this map is going to hold the character and its count so i'm going to declare it as a map of character comma integer and i'm going to use linked hash map so that I will be able to maintain the order of insertion, okay? Because we need to find the first repeated character. So here I have declared map. Now what I will do, I'll start iterating over this string. So I'm going to use for integer i is equal to zero. I should be less than str dot length and i plus plus. Now while iterating over this string, I'll check if my map contains the character, if my map contains a character, then what I will do, I'll simply get the character count and update it or increment it by one. Otherwise, I will simply put that character into a map with count as a one. So here I'm going to write a condition if map dot contains key and the key is going to be str dot cap at I so the ith character. I'm going to check if that map contains ith character or not. If the map contains the character, then what I need to do, I need to get the count of that character and increment it by one and put it into map. So map dot put. So the character is going to be str dot caret of i, and then I need to get the value or count of that character. So I'm going to use map dot get and you get the value of str dot caret of i so get the value of that character and increment it by one okay if i found that character in the map then you get the character and increment the value of that character by one else if i don't get the character in the map then what i will do i will simply copy this and put the value of that character as one because that character is not available in the map. That means the character is not repeated. Okay, or its count is one. Now I'm done with filling of this map. Let us just print this map and see what we are getting in the map. So I'll just use this out system dot out dot printer and print the map and run the code. 
So here you can see this map contains the characters. Okay, along with their count. Now, what I will do, I'll simply iterate over this map, map using for loop. So I'm going to use for map dot entry. And this entry is of character comma integer. Okay, and I'll name it as entry and then I will use map dot entry set to get all the entries from this map. Now I'll check if entry dot get value is greater than one. That means the character has been repeated. Okay. So if I found that entry, I'll simply print the key for that value. So this is going to be my first repeated character is and I will print the entry dot get key and I will simply break this loop. Okay, so I'll just comment out this statement and run the code. So what we did, we checked if the map contains the character. If the map contains that character, then I simply got the value of that character and increased it by one. Otherwise, I simply put the character with its count as one in that map. And then I iterated over that map. I used linked hash map because I wanted to store the order of insertion. Okay, so let us see what is going to be the output. I click run as Java application. So my first repeated character is A and that is what we are expecting. Okay. So that is from the first problem statement. Next problem statement was he was given a list of strings and he was asked to convert each string to uppercase. And then he was asked to filter out the strings which are shorter than five characters in length. And for that, he was asked to use Java and stream APIs. So if you see, this is going to be my input string list. And in this list, I need to convert each string into uppercase and then filter out the strings which are having length less than five characters. So I should include only those links or those strings which has more than five characters left. Okay, so my output should print Spring Boot, then REST APIs and Angular. So just let me correct this. Okay. So let's see how to solve this by using Java Stream APIs. So here, what I will do, I'll simply copy this code and or simply comment out this code and I'll write another main method. Okay. And I'll write the code using Java Stream in this. So I'll declare a list of the strings. So using list of string and I'll make it as list equal to arrays dot as list and I'll simply copy the strings from the problem segment. So I'll test it here. Now I got the list of strings. Next thing what I need to do is I need to use stream APIs to first convert the strings into a packet and then filter out the strings whose length is less than five characters. Okay, so here I'm going to use list.stream to convert this into stream API and then I'm going to use a map function which will be used to map this string or convert these strings into uppercase. Okay, so here what I will do, I will use str and then str dot to uppercase. Okay, so this will convert the string into uppercase. So what I will do, I will simply use string colon to uppercase that will also convert string into uppercase. Next thing is what I need to do, I need to filter the string whose length is less than five character. Okay, so I should include only those strings which are having length more than five characters. What I will do, I will write a filter str 
such that str dot length and this length should be greater than or equal to five characters. Okay, now I'll get these strings whose length is greater than five characters, equal to greater than or equal to five characters. And then finally, I'll collect all such strings using collectors dot to list function into a list. So I'll copy this variable and I'll make it as filtered list. Okay. And then now this, I'll simply print this filtered list using system dot after filter. So what we did, we had a list of strings and we had to convert this list of string into uppercase. So I use string data to uppercase function to convert each string into uppercase. And then I filtered out these strings whose length is greater than or equal to five. And I simply collected that list into a list type of variable using collectors dot to list function. And now I'm going to run it. So right click run as Java application. So you can see I'm getting Spring Boot, REST APIs and Angular. And that is what we are expecting. Okay, guys. So that was the second problem statement which was asked in the interview. Now I'll share a list of questions which were asked. So I have just tried to separate the questions which were related to Java. These questions were related to Spring Boot. There were certain questions related to microservices as well. Even there was a question related to SQL and a scenario based question. Okay, so you can take a snap of these questions and you can prepare. Or if you guys need or you want to explain these questions, let me know in the comment section. I'll create a separate video on this and share the answers. Okay, now let me share you a problem statement or a Java code and you guys have to guess the output. So this is going to be my code and I'm going to provide a hint or explanation about this code. So the code filter out things whose length is less than or equal to four, okay? Then it maps each remaining string to its first three characters, okay? And then it sorts that list and collects this list into a variable of type list. Okay, so you have to guess what will be the output and let me know in the comment section. Okay, guys, so that's it from this video. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. That will motivate us to create more videos like this. Also, if you need any assistance to crack the interviews, you can connect us at practicelab23 at the Thank you.